Hello, it's me, it's Carla, and we are going to be, we, me, I, yeah, we, me and my little friends in my head, we're all going to be showing you how to do this. I got some requests, um, and especially from my favorite YouTuber. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did this, I hope. <laughs> you know... I did it not knowing what I was doing, and I do love the way it came out. And so I'm going to try to recreate it the same way, which is pretty much um, opposite of what I've seen other people do. <laughs> I got my arms resting here because I got my heat and mat turned on. Mm, it's nice and warm. So I have four molds because these are going to be a gift. Um, I'm going to have one extra, maybe. I haven't decided yet. So basically going to be doing this. And so what I've done, first of all, is these, when I make this, when I made this, I put it at an angle to, to, for the first drying, drying. Okay. And so that, uh, not a lot, not like this, but like this, so that the resin I had put in would come and be just almost even with this. And when it dried, I put on the top coat. And I did that because I wanted to still be able to see the sand and stuff. So the way I did it was wonky. I had just taken like a, a, thumb, a tonsil depressor or whatever and like stuck it under there. And what had happened was this is not exactly flat. I mean, yeah, so you can see it kind of rocks a little bit. So I thought, what do I do? Okay, here's what I came up with. <laughs> Flashcards. <laughs> uh, I cut pieces of the Let's Resin box that I just got into these little squares. Because what I want to do, love yourself, right? I'm going to put these underneath here so that when they are drying, if I were to take like two of these uh, horse tongue depressors, <laughs> some, doctor, some doctor came at me with that, I'd be like, uh-uh, no, no, you first. Um, and then I'm gonna, this will be flat instead of like having any kind of little bow, okay? So, yes, you have to indulge me. Love your weird family members too. Evil family members not included in this group. Just weird. Okay. And we are all cousins in the soup. You can't make a good soup without using a lot of things. So we're all necessary. And I love you all. The world would be so different without you. So hang in there. Hang in there. All right. Yeah, I'm a little out of, out of my mind right now. That's all right. Because I'm tired. But I want to get this done because um, Christmas was two weeks ago. And this is a Christmas gift for somebody. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put each one of these onto a word. What? It, oh, oh, Carla. I can't even think what that's called now. I just said what they were called. Study cards. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not important to what we're doing. Okay. All right. Are these going to all fit onto the mat? Mm. The cards might need to be turned a little bit. Yeah, because I need them all to be on the mat to all cure at the same time. So, yeah, because I got this thing turned on. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, it goes to there. It stops. Okay. So I already have mixed up my resin. I'm using um, let's resin. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna try. I, I am out of room. <laughs> let's move you over a little bit. I am going to first of all, first and foremost, going to mix up or split this up into some separate little cups. I'll just use these because I don't want that to flash cure. I've had it sitting on the um, heating mat to get the bubbles out of it. 
So I'm going to put some in here. And I'm going to do that first of all for the... Oops, it's okay. Oops, oops, come on. I need some for the sand. I need some for... Oh, okay. just, just to get it out of this massive uh, amount, I guess, is my real goal. And to get some of it off of the heating mat so it doesn't cure too fast. Last time I did one. This time I'm doing four. And I stayed up last night, like, wondering, how did I make those? Don't drip. Stop that. Oh, I hate that. I'm trying to be nice and neat and coherent. <laughs> what I need to do, first of all, is, is not necessarily the sand. Well, I could do that first. Okay, let me just... Uh, Look at, look at, look at, I gotta show you. Oh, God, please don't let me drop it. Please don't let me drop it. I'm organized. These are the things I need for this project. And I need this sand. All right. Now, I, oh, let me think. I did not put the sand. Did I just get resin in my hair? Oh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. I think I did. Oh. I put the sand in dry when I first did it, and then I was thinking about it, and I thought probably I should have put it into resin first. And I don't know how much resin I need, because um, I need a lot of sand, but it kind of... Oh, anyway, okay, let me first do the sand. Because right now you don't need to hear my, my, my brain thoughts. <laughs> Because I am the teacher. I am here to... Oh, I'm spilling sand. I got this sand at Dollar Tree. Um, it's great. It's sand. <laughs> Let me see. For all four of those, I guess that would be enough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any magic formula here. Like, this is what you do or don't do, but this is what I did. Even though I didn't add resin to it at first, but thinking back, I think that would have been the best thing to do, like this. So, wow, I just sound like I'm out of my mind, don't I? Oh, one thing I was going to do also, one little thing I was going to do is add the tiniest amount of, this is some mica powder, and it's from May Springs. And it's the mahogany bronze or something. I don't remember. It's their brown color, which I love. I'm just going to put a teeny bit in there. Just a teeny bit because I know there's beaches in the world that their sand is white. I'm used to um, Oceanside and Carlsbad, Southern California. Our sand is kind of a brownish color. So I just wanted to put a little bit of color in here. Okay. Oh, please, resin fairies. Don't let this work out. <laughs> please, resin fairies, let this work out. Okay, so I'm going to put some in each one of these. exactly the way I did it before but it's the way I'm doing it today so that's okay I can always oh, start over I guess if it doesn't quite work out so let's see oh you got a lot this one's got a lot more than everybody else now okay well, oh, not everyone is going to be exactly the same. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but that is a horrible sound. Oh, that's on me. Okay, I'm not going to even save this cup. There's no reason to. So I'm going to...
kind of just push it down. Maybe this is why I didn't, this is kind of weird. Um, I kind of liked just putting it in without, but out the resin and then just dropping stuff in and we'll see. I think this will be fine. I don't think it will. It'll be fine. It's Friday, which doesn't mean anything to me. I'm such a good mood. You know why? This is so silly. <laughs> we did not have street sweeping on January 1st, the first Monday, because that was a holiday. <laughs> and we're not having street sweeping this week either, because we do street sweeping on the first and the third Monday of every month. And um, it's Martin Luther's birthday. Thank you, Martin Luther's mother, for having your child on his birthday being celebrated on a Monday. So that means the month of January, there's a zero chance of me getting a street sweeping $58 ticket. <laughs> whoop, whoop. So I'm happy. Okay, so I'm just pushing this down now. I'm going to spritz off my gloves. I don't have any hand hand cleaner, you know, hand sanitizer. I don't have any of that right now. Mm. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread around some shells. You know, I just, I just feel like I need to put some resin on this. So I guess what I'm going to do right now is put some resin on this. I can always make more resin. Thank you, Dawn. I have resin to play with right now. Good shape. Just opened up those new bottles. And all right. So this might feel better. Yeah. I like this better. It feels better. Because now I'm going to put shells on here. And I'm going to put... Um, oh, no chocolate chips on a chip. Chip, 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 chip. I got to put the shells in there first because they got to not float go up everywhere. I'm doing a lot. I might need a lot on my shells. Since I'm doing four, yeah, I need to get the shells into the resin so they can start filling up. I think I got these shells uh, through Amazon. They're probably cheaper at Timu. But I bought these on Amazon. You guys okay in there? Okay. Let me get some of the little baby ones in here. So funny, this shell right here is reminding me. You know those shells you can hold to your ear and you hear the ocean? The no, they look like this, but they're a little bit bigger. My very first teething toy was one of these shells. I just thought about that. I wonder, I bet my sister has that because my mom had it for a long time. That was my teething. I used to walk around teething on a seashell. <laughs> oh, wow. Just thought of that. I don't, I haven't seen that seashell in a long time. I have these too. I got these at Michael's for $1.49 a long time ago. And I didn't know why I bought them. Oops. One just flew over into something. But I did. So this must be why. Um, I don't really want to drop the... I'm going to put the seashell... The sea star, star, star... Starfish in a different cup. Because I don't want to be stirring them. Alrighty. Boop 
keep it, just keep it, just get, get this stuff out of the way. And we have, no, we have a stick. Get these all kind of stirred up. Oh, that looks cool. Oh. Hopefully they're all dead. There's nothing living in them. I hope. All right, so now I need to just make sure that I put them and that they are going to be under the radar there. Get off. Yep, so I'm going to kind of spread them around, try to get it a little bit. Oh, I'm getting excited because this looks really cute. All of a sudden, it's just like, <gasps> it looks so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to spend, well, I used to live right on the beach. Um, and I would go for a walk every single day. And this coaster reminds me so much of the little tide pools, you know, that... Um, where the sandbar would be up and you'd walk out a little bit on the sandbar and then you would see this little pool with the shells all in there and all different kinds in there together. Oh, best time ever. Healthiest I've ever felt in my life is living at the beach. I got to get back to the beach. Just have to. Whether it's here or Mexico... I have to live by the beach. Um, I want to live on the beach again. That was amazing. Let's see. There's too many of you there. Some of you over here. I used to actually... See, and right now I'm a, um, a person that doesn't go to sleep till like 4 o'clock in the morning. But, oh, there's too many there now. When I lived at the beach, oh my goodness, I was up before the sun. And I'd make coffee and I'd run down to the deck and sit and watch the watch it become daylight sitting and listening to the sound of the ocean. Oh gosh. I was so lucky to live there. Okay, I think you need one of these big O shells. I hope that's not too big. Ah uh, yeah, it's gonna be too big. That's why I keep taking it out. All right. So, this is the shell part. This is going to be a long video, I think, y'all. I apologize, but... Um, oops, i got to stir these little sea fishies. But it's got to just be... Oops, nope, nope, come on. I just need one at a time. Because I'm doing the four. If I was just doing one, I would already be on to the next step, but I'm doing four. And, whoopsies, get out, get out, get out. You got to get off the bus. We're at the end of the line. Get out. Stop. Okay, there you go. And here you go. Who needs more seashells? You do. Okay, this one needs seashells. Nope, not seashells. Starfish. Starfish. And you too. You got too many seashells over there and you don't have enough. So we're going to spread those around. Share the love, baby. Okay, make sure everybody's down where they should be. Because I don't want anybody sticking up over. If I turn you like that. Again, I don't want anybody sticking over at all. So everybody's got two, three, two here. And I have to get some more of these. I love these little starfish. I feel bad because they're babies. I wonder if aliens are up there like uh, making aquariums with us. It's so disgusting to even think about. Sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. Stop right here, right now. <laughs> oh, mercy.
see. Okay. One more sea fish, starfish, sea fish, starfish, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay, I think you're, oh, uh, you got too many. You need more. Let's get you guys back up here a little bit. Keep you all this way. Oops, too many starfish for you. Uh, you could use one right there. It's fine. All right. So I want to get these little boogers. Okay. I think that's good. I need a little bit more. I can tell. Oh, where did I put it? Where'd the sand go? Oh, golly. I'm getting a cramp in my leg. Oh. Oh, here it is. I can tell I need a little bit more of the sand. Um, like here. Where else? Well, I think it was just there. It doesn't matter if the sand's on the bottom of this stuff either. Because um, there's going to be colors added in now. Okay, put you on pause for one second. I'm going to run to the ladies' pause. room. So let me just pause you. Okay. Sorry, y'all. All right, so I have a few more things to add. Um, I got these little gravel, they look like fire pit, tiny baby wraps. Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add a couple of these in here. Again, because the the sand is kind of a little bit on the white side. And also, when you're walking on the beach, there's always a lot of uh, little rocks and stuff. You know, they get washed up with the shells. And so that's one reason I put those in. Now, I did bring over a couple little blue, blue pieces of glass because also at least especially here in um, Southern California, we have lots of the sea glass that washes up. So you get little, little colors. Little tiny colors of blue and greens and stuff. I only have the blue, which is the blue glass that I got from Dollar Tree. I didn't even look to see if you could see what I was showing you. I put them in different containers, but this is blue glass from Dollar Tree. There's a couple of things I want to do different for this one. I have these tiny little um, amethyst pieces, and I just want to put these in here just for good vibrations. <laughs> I'm sending them good vibrations. Okay. I might even end up keeping these because, man, I love me some amethyst. The sea has so many things that it throws up onto the shores. I found so many cool things when I would just go out walking. I used to take pictures of the tide pools. I have these uh, abalone shells. I got it. Um, mama, mama, hobby, 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 lobby. Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put a few of those in here. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. One of my favorite things, especially when you're walking on the beach and you actually like find the little broken shells of Mother of Pearl. They're just like, oh. I have brought so many shells and things home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I need a little tiny piece. A little tiny one right there. Okay, let's drop those in there for right now. I think that's everything I need now for this shore. Yeah, that's everything for the shore. So, now, oh, let me just get these out of the way. I want to go get some more of this amethyst that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, the raw amethyst. 
amethyst yeah yeah amethyst um because um i want to make uh some more of those little necklaces Ugh, i think they're so cute with the raw the raw amethyst is just so cute this one doesn't have a lot of little stones it's fine everything is going to work out fine you'll see it's all going to be good so maybe i should move this conglomeration of heavy things out of the way hang on to these little beads oh. okay Whew. that was a lot of stuff right there and one little shell okay now i'm going to mix some colors save that for my white and i'm gonna need oh i got more shells in here oh chocolatey chips uh, I don't need those shells right now, so I will put them in here because I'm going to be doing a shell, another C-type thing, um, this little plate mold that I got, that I just got. I haven't even showed it to you guys yet because I'm getting some um, things tomorrow, some things that I ordered. I'm getting a special surprise tomorrow from Amazon and also... Um, uh, I got a couple little molds from Timu I was going to show you. And this is one of the Timu molds. And I'm just going to stick these little shells in here right now. It'll be fine. It will be fine. It will be okay. Actually, I don't even need to stick them in there. I can stick them right here on this. On this. And then they can dry and I can pull them off. And move them. I want my resin right now. So I might need to make more. I don't make a lot of coasters. I try. <laughs> I try. You see me try to like make flowers and stuff, but nah. Nah. Not so great. Not so great. All right. So I have one. Yeah, I don't have enough. I'm going to have to make up more resin. But I want to. I should go ahead and use this. Um, let me get you out of the way. You are not a part of this poor party right now. All right. So I'm going to make up three colors, and I'll save you for the white and a little bit of white. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to. I'm really going to have to make up more, but we'll see. This one has quite a bit of in there okay so i just put on clean gloves darn it already i picked up an icky stick an icky stick okay so i have all my colors here i'm gonna do a dark blue one two three four this is sapphire blue I need to make this a little more even. Excuse me. And I'm going to do a... Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I can't see. Turquoise. I'm going to do some turquoise. Put in like three drops of turquoise and I'm going to do some light blue so maybe I'll use this cup for the light blue and I think on the sky blue I'm down to like dribbles of sky blue resin all of these are resin colors oh I've got quite a bit more than I thought I'm gonna put a little sky blue in this green because I don't want it to be too green let's use the rest of the sky blue Yep, it's gone. Okay. So, I need this to be much darker. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I need that to be darker. So I'm going to get some of the... Where's the darkest one? Here we go. Sapphire Blue by Let's Resin. And this is, um, is this an alcohol ink? I can't tell because this is the one that 
was leaking when I got the kit. I just want that to be very dark blue. And then I'm just going to use plain blue. I'm going to use two blues, a regular blue, a dark blue, and then a greenish color. they get all over me splattered too that's all right though that's okay i see some splatters but okay so here's a dark blue let me see am i too um that's my arm maybe this works a little better uh maybe all right yeah, there's a dark blue. There's a blue green, kind of light. Yeah, it's too light. So I need some more green. Forest, new. No. Light, new. No. Turquoise, no. Emerald green. Let's do some emerald. It all kind of blends together, you know. in the sea all the waves and everything they kind of blend it all together so it's not that important it's kind of a light that's okay though i think it'll be okay i've got a dark no i want it a little darker i keep pulling out the forest green okay that was alcohol ink that i put in here now i'm going to put in some um, resin dye that should be darker I gotta get this stuff poured and then I can make some more okay and I got some light blue all right so when I did this the other day I saw my intentions were to do what I had seen other people do and that's where they put the um, the dark blue back here in the middle of the ocean but I put it in the front so I'm going to do that again see how much I have here of this stuff put some blue here and then I did some green and then some light blue and okay so then I've got enough to do more so I'm gonna go ahead and go backwards here I'm gonna put some light blue in there I don't know if this is gonna be the same y'all because I really did not videotape it um, or none of that you know because I was just like playing and I didn't think it was gonna work out and the next day I looked at it I'm like oh my god it's so cute all right so that's all I want to put in here. I might take a little bit of this dark blue and drop some in there. It's not going to matter because it's all going to mishmash together. Uh, you will see. You'll see. And I'll put some more of my greens in here. I want to leave it though where I have enough room to tilt it. So I might stop right there. And then I think I'm just going to, for grins sakes, just for grins, put this in here. Just so it's not wasted and mix up some more after I get the first two done. And then I'll probably, maybe I'll stop you guys so you don't have to suffer through my um mucking around here like what is she doing what is she doing okay no 
I don't want to put any more in there, but put some more in there. If I have any green, I'll put you in there too. And then when I mix up more resin, I'll have a at least a pattern. Huh. All right. And then I have a little bit left here for the for the white. Not really enough though. And I'm gonna use the um ocean white. This stuff is like glue. I don't know if shaking it is doing anything. But I know that I didn't save very enough enough of the for the white. I'm just gonna put in one two squeezes not a lot I think I'm going to snag some of this uh, clear that's in this one for this white yeah <laughs> this is so helter skelter I apologize y'all but I really am just like trying to remember what I did. And then I just went in here and I literally just put this everywhere. Because I'm going to use my heat gun on it. I know this is not the way people do it. I know it is. I know. I understand that. This is just how I did it. I mean, I don't think anybody does it this way. I maybe should wait for that one until I mix up some more. So let me just use... Oh, please let this come out. Come on. Come on. It's getting kind of kind of stiff. Oh, come on. I put the white on the rock on the rocks <laughs> on the shells too shells on the sand I'm just gonna okay come on come on it's getting so thick ah. all right so now I'm gonna just uh come on come off use my heat gun so you're gonna have to cover your ears please uh, even though usually, no, I don't know about everything. Anyway. Okay, guys, I uh, cut the sound on this, and I'm going to show you in real time doing this one coaster, the first one. I want to make sure that you get an idea of, of how long it's taking me to uh, get the white to move. I'm using a embossing gun, not a heat gun. Um, there's a big difference even though this does get very hot it takes a little bit of time like you can see now the starting to move and um, I can't hold it for too long in one place I don't want to you know ruin my mold even though these molds are pretty funky but if your molds are new you certainly don't want to ruin them so I'm moving it around um, and literally in a in a few, like, I don't know, minutes here, hours, no, <laughs> maybe five seconds, ten seconds. Uh, I'm going to speed up the second one so you don't have to watch it. Okay, I'm going to move 
this this one to the back here. I'm still going to fiddle with it just for a minute. And then I'm going to mix up some more resin. Um, yeah, let me move you back here. Oh, 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 my fingers are too big. Okay. And I am going to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, come on. Take one of my used sticks, run around here, get the check the sides for bubbles. Okay. Check your two. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna use my stick to kinda um, like mix this blue in a little bit better. And just do this. I'm probably going to add a little more white to that first one I was just playing with. Because I think it needs a little bit more. And then I'm just going to tilt these to dry. Mix up some more resin. Just a little bit more resin. Come on. For these last two. Okay, so I'm going to tilt these, and I'm going to take uh, probably, let me do them one at a time. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. I want the, the resin to gently, uh, let me tilt, get this on here like this. My gloves are making it hard for me to pick this up. Oh, woo. All right. I want the resin to just run back enough. To give me, um, I want the sand to be, nope, I need to cross those. Okay. Oh, okay. The resin doesn't have to be smooth at that other end. I'll have to watch that. But um, I want it because I'm going to add uh, after this dries, I'm going to come in and put that clear, clear coat on there. So let me turn this little thing this way too. And wait, it's hard with my gloves and this little doggy pad thing. Oh, there we go. And I want you to tilt more like that. And you need to also, I just have to keep my eye on it that that doesn't start going over the edge. It's the only thing. And let me, um, just give this a little stir. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go for a minute. Um. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna mix up the others. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I did there. I'm gonna pull that little star back up here onto the shore. There we go. Everybody's good. And because um. I'm going to mix up a little bit more resin so I can finish this one and this one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Then when they're cured, then we'll come back. And they already look so cute, don't they? Sticky gloves. So many gloves. So little time. Okay, so many moles. So little time. Already I'm getting really cold and hungry. So... Yeah, I'm going to finish, finish these two. You saw what I did there. I'm going to do the exact same thing. If I do anything different, I'll let you know. Okay, so take off the gloves so I don't ruin my computer. I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm not. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, everybody, they're cured. And um, I think they look great. I'm very pleased with these. Um, I'm going to take them out of the molds, but pretty much we're going to be looking at this side anyway. Uh, this is the original one that I did. And I can tell you right away the one difference between these and this one and these is that these uh, have a little bit more green, which I'm okay with. Plus, there's one other thing I did that I should not have done. And I, if I wasn't so cold, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. Um, this one I did not put on a heating mat. And it gave the resin lots of time to do this little magical fluffy water. Right? These I put on the heating mat. And so when I came back and I added like a little bit more of the white... Um, even though I tried blowing on it with my uh, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba embossing gun. <laughs> well, I don't know why. If I can't think of a word, if I start like doing a little singing or weird ba, -ba sound, <laughs> I can think of a word. Oh, my goodness. My brain. Who knows what's in there? Okay, so... Um, so, what I was going to say is like this one came out great. Uh, it's very wispy and beautiful. Um, this one came out a little bit, you know, you can see. And I tried, I guess I put on a little bit extra of the white. And they had been sitting on the heating mat. And so I didn't know that they were, the white was just going to sit there. But I still think it's pretty. I mean, you know, yeah, if I concentrate on the white... And not on this pretty part. But overall, it's still pretty. You just put your glass right there. That's all. Um, so yeah, I did put in some little balls of iridescent balls. You could kind of see the little polka dots in here. But actually, yeah, it just makes it look like polka dots. <laughs> oh, can you hear my voice? I am getting sick. Oh my gosh. Last night, I started coughing like insane. I had to get up and uh, drink some honey to, to be able to sleep. I was just coughing, and today I'm kind of out of breath, and my throat's a little sore. But I'm just going to move on from being... I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to let myself be sick. I got too many things I want to do. I'm behind on about... Mm, promised videos. I have one, two, three I have to do. And so I, I don't want to get sick. Just really, I did, I did. I'm patting myself on the back again because I didn't get a lot of overflow on there. This is really beautiful though. Really beautiful. It's translucent and it just makes it look like more watery. I like it a lot. So there's dust. I'm gonna have to. I have a dust like picnic cover thing. I'm gonna have to start using that because they look so strange on the back, don't they? But actually, look how beautiful that looks. Where the white dropped down in there. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I love that effect right there, even though the rest of it looks like... No, that's the wrong side, Carla. Yeah, these are very pretty. I think... Uh, I think my daughter-in-law is going to like these. I need to call my son and see if he wants to, to drive the 20 minutes <laughs> to go pick him up. Or both of them. You know, I don't mean just him. That's got a little bit of overflow. Okay, anyway, there we are. Ooh, this one is pretty. I like the way the... It's just like... Huh, kind of petri dishy on the back. That's interesting. This one, though, man, I just like the way that that looks. That would have been cool if the sand wasn't there. I don't know if you guys can see the dimension on that or not. Hmm. So, these are done, and I really like them. Um, if you have any questions or 
suggestions. Uh, you know, this is just my going for it. I think that I like this one the best, the, the one that I did first. That I didn't know what I was doing. Um, obviously, uh, I did not put the green in here. So much green. But still, you know, there's places in the world where the water is blue and green. So, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I've got some little rubber dots that I'm going to put on silicone dots or whatever they are. I'm going to put on the bottom and just clean up a little bit. There's a little bit of cleanup to do. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, I don't want to start sniffing my nose. Um, so I hope that you all are having a wonderful time right now. And ooh, this just makes me want to go to the beach and put my feet in the water. Oh, 100%. I love walking. My favorite thing to do is to walk on the beach when it's raining and, you know, wear like a little rain jacket and walk in the water and in the sand and nobody's on the beach when it's raining. And so I always pretend like it's my own private island. Oh, man, yeah, this makes me want to go put my feet in the water. There's nothing better than salt water for what ails you. I think the beach is the most beautiful healing place. Okay, well, I'm going to sit here and pretend like I'm at the beach. I guess I'll get a bucket of water and put my feet in there. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Ah, Papa, scared me. I really love you. Oh, <laughs> I demolded this already. So I'll just show you real quick. That's so funny. If this cat was black, it would look like the other cat out here that doesn't like me at all, but is always sitting in front of my window. There's a whole bunch of cats around here, but there's one black cat. The ear is literally cut off right there. And uh, yeah, this is because I put too much powder in the mold. Isn't that funny? Uh, oh, golly darn. I'm going to make a, I'm going to have a cat video. I'm just going to do everything I have cat. <laughs> oh, get back. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. I don't know where my squirrel is. No, I'm squirreling looking for my squirrel. All right. Sorry. Not sorry. Silly. Okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. Be nice. Be kind. And share the love. And let's change this little uh, I don't know what the word is. This this little negativity in our world. We got to get back in balance. So only we can do that. Because the people that are negative, they're just plowing straight ahead. And now, so we need to share our love. And um, I love you guys. I love you so much. I hope you like these. I think they're really cute. I I I am. Um, not showing my face today. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to go outside today. I feel so icky. <sighs> but anyway, this is it. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to do a real quick video after this. Um, I've got some stuff to show you that, like unboxing stuff to show you. Uh, that I got some new molds and stuff. So I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you for being here, everybody. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here for a while, thank you. And I love you all. You're my tribe. I, it just feels right. You're my tribe. We are a tribe. You're not my tribe. My little tribe. Our tribe. This is, ah, oh, chocolate chips. I love you guys. You know, you know how my brain, I do. Now, okay, I, I gotta go before I'm starting to squirrel like I'm on 1999. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye. Okay, go away. Bye. Stop. Off. Oh, God. Okay, I can't get it to stop. Stop. I need a new laptop. <laughs> Golly darn, you too. Oh, now, like, where did it go? Okay, you have to stop as well.